Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute bow, which is the Jessie bow. There we go, I am going to do a slightly smaller base one because I think I made this one slightly too big for this style. But this is what we're aiming for today. And we're using 1.5 inch ribbon, which is this one, or roughly 4 centimetres. And we're using 2 times 27, but I have blue peated it in the UK saying and I've already half done one to save a bit of time because we're using exactly the same technique on both pieces and it just means that you don't have to watch me for too long. All the um, measurements will be in the description box below anyway so never worry if you don't catch anything I say. So 2 times 27 in 1.5 inch ribbon and this is the method we want. We want to heat seal both of our ends in the blue clear bit of the plane and then we want to fold it in half we want to bring it over so that you have this look with the tips here like so and then i take a clip and i pop that just in the middle just as an extra pair of hands to hold it in place and then you take this side and you bring it round so that you've got this so like this curve shape and then twist and then bring that over so that that is roughly one centimeter and you want it so that all your edges are lined up nicely and straight still so pop that there like so I'm going to take this side and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to turn it so we've got this look, so this like arch. And then we're going to twist it. So from there, you just twist it. And again, you bring it over. And what I like to do is again, if you take your ruler, one centimetre, well, basically one and a half centimetres each each side make sure this is all leveled off and then you can clip like so and i've already sewn this this side and i've done six stitches to get three creases as you can see and we're going to do exactly the same on this side in which is one two three four five sorry one two three four five just done it wrong again one two three four five six now i'll show you in which is one two three four five six and on the other side one two three okay and then you can cinch that and you will have three creases okay then pull that nice and tight i'm going to line up my creases this side you can make it in two pieces and glue them together it's entirely up to you this is just my preferred method so bring that around that side and then i'm going to pop those that side again line them all up Nice and even. Thread that through. Stay really close to the centre so that your stitches don't go too far and you can't wrap them. And then this is what you'll have. I'm going to bring this around the back. I like to fold this like this. And then I do a couple of stitches across. Like so. Again, really, really close to the centre. So when we wrap it, there's no, no thread showing. Nice and tight like that. I can cut my thread off. Pull that away. And there we go. The super cute Jesse main bow. Let's put that out of the way for a second. And I have done 60 centimetres here in total. And what I've done here 
is I have folded at 10 centimeters and I have heat creased here. Okay, so that's there. And then from here, you bring those up together, fold it here, and again, heat crease it here so you know where your center is between there. And then I'm just going to heat seal that end. And then what I do is you take this one, I'm just going to do a pinch to work out the center is. So I take this side, round like this, line up your centre with that edge, and I'll take a little pin, so you've got this, and then you take this side, bring it round, and again you want it directly over to make a square. little pin for a moment and then all we're going to do don't worry about this one too much it's just an anchor stitch basically i'm not even going to tie my thread off or anything like that so you just put one single stitch in like this so you've got this and then you can move your loops So that they're flat and I take my clips again one clip two clip fold it in half then a heat seal a nice center so we know where it is and you'll see here you'll have roughly triangles directly across those as well it's a quick way of doing the simple loop bow without templates okay and then from above one two three four five six seven eight in out one two three four five six seven eight and on the back you'll have four take clips off cinch that nice and tight and if you want to you can obviously start your tail with the opposite direction it's entirely up to you Stitch that off in the back, however you personally prefer. That's how I do it. So, there we go. That's a better size. You want to see a little bit of it, not a lot of it. So layer that on top. And then I use the extra thread that I've got around that original one. And I use that to make it nice and tight, because I do this instead of gluing. You can glue if you want. It's entirely personal choices. This is just what I do. Look at the mess I'm making on my desk. There we go. Nice and tight. And then, like I said, I always do longer tails purely because you can sort of you can cut down, but you can't add on. And like I said, you can do a spike, you can do a curve, you can do whatever you want with your tails. It's entirely up to you. I cut mine like this. And then I've got some matching 9mm. And my clip. Turn this over. Get that. Take my glue stringers out of the way. 
it's the end of our nine millimeter don't want that fraying in the bow touch of glue here pop that on the center and then we're going to wrap around at least twice and what i like to do to make these more squared off when they go like this is if you put a touch of glue here on your first wrap and pull this across really tight it will help you get your centre nice and then open up pull it nice and tight wrap round again keep to your end and glue knock over your glue gun And I, I'm just going to do a more interesting centre. So, what am I going to do with this one? I'm going to do a scrunch. I do like a scrunch in the middle. So, I've basically, got some one inch ribbon. You make an S shape like that. Eat and pinch carefully your fingers. And then we're going to turn it the opposite way opposite direction carefully with your fingers again and this is what you'll get glue on the flat side and then you can twist that round as you can see you get that nice slightly wider middle more interesting look that your glue string is gone and there you go